Sairam to you all dear children. I will be once again continuing with the same chapter in noisy city class 4 subject english part 7 chapter 10 what did we understand from part 6 of this story let us revise the wife of the wife in one particular city was discussing with her husband as she herself was noisy how can she be able to listen to other voice on the eve of birthday of Halla Balu? Upon which husband suggested that they shall just open their mouth and not yell, whereby they will be able to listen to other people's voice or noise whatever and this message was passed on by them to all the people and it that message spread like wildfire across the world and as the message spread Everyone, as was interested to listen to others' noise, began to keep quiet. So, thereby, the people across the world didn't shout at all, resulting in absolute silence right now let us understand part 7 of this story what about the city of Habab which had always been so proud of its noise for the first time in a hundred years Habab too was silent and still so for the first time in hundred years hubbub city was silent and still it was never silent all through the hundred years there used to be hustle bustle the city used to be hubbub with activities and uh, things like that whereby there used to be noise throughout but now after 100 years there is total silence and it is still instead of honoring their prince by the loudest noise in the world they had belittled him by remaining absolutely quiet belittled means look down upon him as small look down upon the prince the all people across the world instead of you know um, following the instructions of making loud noise they belittled the prince by keeping quiet. That means they didn't care for Halla Balu. Right? They ignored his request. So, 
the people bowed their heads in shame and started to creep away that means disperse away go away so they all bowed their head in shame they felt shameful they were ashamed as they did not satisfy halla balu by making loud noise suddenly they stopped what was that sound they heard up in the balcony it couldn't be true and yet there was prince clapping his hands in glee and laughing happily so in spite of the people across the world being silent the prince who was sitting in the balcony enjoyed the silence so glee means joy so he was joyfully so the prince was clapping his hands in glee that means the prince was clapping his hands in joy and he was laughing happily so the silence didn't affect the prince's happiness so the silence the absolute silence didn't affect the happiness of halla balu sure enough the prince was pointing to the garden with great delight with great delight with great joy delight and interest for the first time in his life he was hearing the singing of a little bird the whispering of the wind in the leaves the ripple of water in the brook brook is a very small lake right for the first time in his life the prince had been given the gift of peace and quiet and he loved it so see the transformation in the prince so he is very happy the silence in no way affected the prince so he enjoyed the little bird singing he enjoyed at the same time the whispering of the wind in the leaves what is meant by whispering say when two i'll explain to you now whispering means talking in the ear so that your neighbor is unable to listen right so the person next to you so suppose two people are there and you are one uh, you are sitting by those two people those two people who are sitting close to each other they talk in the ears without making any noise so that is called whispering that is meant by whispering so the whispering of the winds in the leaves the ripple of water in the brook ripple ripple means it is like water bubbles it is actually a water it is water current ripple ripple water uh, we see the ripples ripples means it is a concentric ring uh, concentric ring that is what we call ripple right that means circle after circle circle after circle right one inside the other that is ripple so the ripple of water so sure enough the prince was pointing to the garden with great delight with joy for the first time in his life he was hearing the singing of little birds the whispering of the wind in the leaves which i just explained to you the ripple of the water in the brook 
for the first time in his life the prince had been given the gift of peace and quiet and he loved it very much now the city of habar is no more noisy instead visitors see this sign the people of habar speak gently they are proud that their ducks are the quietest the ducks are the quietest in the beginning they were the quackiest now they are the quietest their doors the lightest and their policemen's whistles the softest in the world right so the whistles were softest the ducks were quietest and uh, what else the, the ducks were quietest the doors the lightest so there was total peace right here is the picture that we see there is a board which says habab the city of quiet right and you see the prince in front of the display board so here is the summary of the video what about the city of habab which had always been so proud of its noise for the first time in a hundred years habab too was silent and still instead of honoring their prince by the loudest noise in the world they had belittled him by remaining absolutely quiet the people bowed their heads in shame and started to creep away means go away disperse now the city of habab is no more noisy instead visitors see this sign the people of habab speak gently they are proud that their ducks are the quietest their doors the lightest and their policemen's whistles the softest in the world here are a few questions relating to the video which i hope all of you would be able to answer why was the city of habab proud how was the city of habab after 100 years why did the people bow their heads why did the prince clap his hands in glee that means in joy glee means in joy in glee means in joy right what did the prince hear for the first time in his life so enjoy the story by reading it let us call it a day jai sai ram